Hey everyone, New York City. Standing outside the Metropolitan Pavilion and <coughs> Coffee Festival in the one of two that are kicking off uh, the official launch of, of Fire City Illusion. New York Coffee Festival, I actually found out about through an incredible Philadelphia rock band, Velvet Rouge. And I'll tell you what, I actually have press, press credentials, they received press credentials for this event, but just to see if it was actually worth the money, I, sub, I bought a three hour pass uh, for this morning, dropped 38.50 and yeah, a total of uh, 54 bucks, 38.50 for a three hour session, 12 for a coffee to, cocktail token. And I'll tell you what, for spending, the, actually spending the money, it was worth it. Two floors of education, uh, helping to save the environment. By 11.30, I was used to joke around about my caffeine tolerance. By 11.30, I was literally wired off coffee. <laughs> um, it was so well. It was the New York Coffee Festival. Whether you, if you love coffee, in fact, <clears throat> I was out here taking a break, smoking a cigarette. A woman was, I was talking over with her dog, and she said about, you know, that she loved coffee. And I told her, you know, I say, hey, this has been my experience. And she's going to be coming to the coffee festival tomorrow. So if you love coffee, it will introduce you to a wide range of coffees from, I didn't, I lived in North Carolina for eight and a half years. I didn't know they could grow coffee in North Carolina. Apparently they can. Durham. Um. Coffees from around the world, different flavors, different tastes, um, different subtleties. They had a uh, they have a competition here for coffee makers and baristas from I know uh, different even different countries. Um, they have workshop all different kind of workshops and demonstrations, and it's not just coffee. There were several places, there was a lot of tea, uh, several vendors here that had tea. They had a, some food. They had food here. Art, live music, the coffee festival had everything, but it was just a great education. Um, didn't have time to talk, stop and talk to uh, too many of the vendors because I got here roughly about 10 o'clock and it was already jam-packed. And you know, the crowd only went up from there. But just, even if you have like no interest in coffee or if you, or if you don't like coffee, the coffee festival is still an interesting place. I saw people bringing their kids here. Um, it's still a very interesting and unique festival, at least for myself. And I've covered festivals in two, including Camden, New Jersey, one, three states over the past nine years. And trust me, the number is up there. But it's just um, the education alone. The fact that you can learn um, a lot of, I think almost everyone I saw, was about sustainable, supporting, you know, and keeping balance with nature with, uh, and coffee production. It was, it's just overall a very, a very different, very cool and highly, re highly recommendable event. There were coffee cocktails there, coffee mixed with alcohol, I had a couple. Very uh, great balance between the two. Um, although the Baileys, I think I didn't need enough for breakfast. <laughs> uh, but honestly, next year, um, whether I receive credentials or not, I'm definitely going to come up here for this festival. It is, it's just something so cool, so different, so unique that it's worth the time. It's worth the money. Um, and yeah, I dropped some cash here, but again, it was worth it. It was, uh, got a couple things for some people I know. And just talk, the, talking to people, talking to the people in the crowd, talking to some of the vendors that I actually had conversations with. Very educational, very entertaining, very unique event. New York Coffee Festival next year. Make sure you come out here for this. And I'd say get your tickets in advance because I, I know sometimes the, some people, like a woman I was talking to, she's like, okay, they're sold out for this time period today. And next year I'm going to go with the VIP and possibly the super VIP because the coffee cocktail tokens, they, they drop some money on that, you get the tote, it's easily worth it. Michael Phoenix, founder staff of Fire City Illusion, New York City, launching it with the first event 
the New York Coffee Festival. Special thank you to everyone who, who made it possible. And special, special thank you to uh, Becky Kovach. Hopefully I got the name right. Great conversation, you know, thanks for all the, thanks for all that, all the help, uh, her assistance with everything. Take care, everybody. We're in, we're in autumn. Stay safe. Enjoy a change of seasons.